Welcome to this lesson video. Today we'll be looking at pre-calculus maths 1510 question 4. We will be looking at January February 2017 question paper that is based on trigonometry. Let us start. The question is saying prove the identity. So what we need to do we need to prove that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Now we need to look at the most complex side and then we try to simplify it to be exactly the same as the other side. In this case we can see that the right hand side is actually more complex than the left hand side. Now before we start answering this question we need to know some few basic knowledge. We are all familiar with the first three trigonometric ratios that is cos, sine and tan. Now we also have an addition of three other trig ratios which is cosec, theta sec theta and cot theta. We know the expression of course it's x over r of sine it's y over r of tan it's y over x. And then when you express this in terms of Width, we know that this is adjacent over hypotenuse, this is opposite over hype, and then this is opposite over adjacent. Now what about the other three trick ratios which is cosec, sec and cot? What you need to know? This is the inverse of sine. Cosec is the inverse of sine. So this is r over y. And then sec is r over x. And then cot is actually x over y. Now how do you memorize this? It's simple. Now let us look at the first width, which is cosec. Let me actually move to other page. Co sec. Now remember the first three trig ratios is sine, cos and tan. Looking at cosec, let us focus on the third letter. This is the, third, the, the first letter. This is the first letter. This is the second letter. This is the third letter. Now looking at the first three trig ratios, which trig ratio starts with letter S that is sine? You look at sec, look at the third letter. This is the first letter, the second letter. Now you can see the third letter, it's C. Do we have any trick ratios from the first three trick ratios which starts with C? Yes, it's what? It's cos. So it means sec, sec is the inverse of cos. Cosec is the inverse of sine. We look at the last one, which is uh, cot. I hope you can see the pattern. The, the, the third letter, this is the first, second. You look at the third. Now you can see from the first three trick ratios, we have what? We have tan. So cot is the inverse of tan. What is also important, you must know that suppose we have sine theta sine theta is the same as 1 over no actually it's cosec cosec theta is the same as 1 over sine theta uh, sec theta is the same as 1 over cos theta remember it's an inverse 
and then cot theta is 1 over tan theta. I hope you can see this. And then if, let's say we have sec square theta is the same as cos square theta, cosec square theta is the same as sin square theta, same as this cot. And then looking at angles, let's say we have sine 15 is the same as, no, actually 1 over sine 15 is the same as cosec 15. I hope you can see what I'm trying to explain here. Now, we are done covering this section. Let us go back to our question. This is the actual question we are dealing with. So we agree that we choose the right hand side because it's more complex compared to the left hand side. Now dealing with the right hand side, we can rewrite this. It's a squared theta tan theta sec theta. So we are trying to prove this to be equals to this, to be the same as this. So from here we are going to change this 1 over cos squared theta plus remember tan. Tan is the same as sine squared theta divided by cos. I mean sine theta divided by cos theta. And then sec is multiplied by 1 over cos theta. I hope you can see what is happening. And then from here we have 1 over cos square theta plus 1 multiplied by sine theta. It's simply sine theta divided by cos theta multiplied by cos theta. It's cos squared theta. Then from here we simplify. We have two fractions. Don't forget that this is equal to that identity you are trying to prove. Now we have two fractions in this case. You can see the denominators are the same. So in this case, we can simply take one denominator and simply add our numerators. We only do this if we have the same denominator. Then from here, we have 1 plus sine theta all over. Now remember, this is also an identity. There is a lesson video whereby we talk about identities. I advise you to look at that lesson video so that you will understand what exactly is happening. But let me quickly explain this one. There's an identity, sine squared theta plus sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. So making sine squared theta the subject of the formula we have. Another identity. This is the first identity. This is the second. Now making cos the subject of the subject of the formula, we are going to have another identity which is which is this one. I hope you can see. Now where we see cos squared theta we can substitute by one one minus sine squared theta. So back to our question. This is the same as one minus sine squared theta. And then from here, one plus sine theta all over 1. We can express 1 in terms of power 2. So it's the same as 1 squared minus sine squared theta. Difference of two squares. What you need to know from algebra Let's say we have x squared minus 4. Can you express 4 in terms of power 2? Yes, it's x squared minus 2 squared. Factorizing this is the same as x plus 2x minus 2. 
This is what you call difference of two squares. y squared minus 1 is the same as y squared minus 1 squared is the same as 1, I mean y plus 1, y minus 1. I hope you can see that. Now let us go back to our question. You agree that the denominator is difference of two squares, so we can simply factorize this. So we have 1 minus sine theta, 1 plus sine theta. And then from here we can see that this will result into 1. So the numerator we are left with 1. And then denominator we are left with this. Now you can see that the right hand side is equal to the left hand side. We have proved this identity. That is it for this lesson video. This is Wahula SJ. Thank you very much.